anniversary celebration of Pennies in Action. Applause for yourselves. I cannot believe that we are still here after 10 years. I mean, I pinch myself almost every day, and I can't believe against all odds that we made it this far and that we were able to keep Dr. Sinicki and Dr. Koski going. Every patient that we've treated going through um, all the different trials, because I, I looked at it, looked at it, looked at it, I went back and looked and looked, and the only couple of people that died that had been given the vaccine, one was died of old age at 95, <laughs> and another one had, had a, car, a coronary um, heart attack. Everybody else is still alive with um, their, even if they have something, it's, it's quiescent, and the DCS patients are doing great. So like Gary told you, 30% of the patients have, that have a complete response do extremely well long term. But we still need to do better. And so we're, we've got some exciting things coming on the horizon where we're going to make the 30% be 100% pretty soon. Um, and we're, only, we're taking this into other subtypes of breast cancer. And we're taking it into other cancers, too, because the principles of what we're doing with breast cancer apply to almost every cancer that, that um, we look at. And so, you know, I really want to, um, A, salute all the people that have participated in our trials um, that have been done, especially all the patients that even flew down to Moffitt to get treated and, and fly back. So I'd like everybody to give a round of applause to all the patients that have participated in the study. And then I want you all to um, give yourselves a round of applause because uh, it isn't a week go by that I don't hear about a fundraiser going on, um, a, a basketball shoot, a golf tournament, um, a, a sing-along, uh, kids programs that are going on raising small amounts of money that pool together to um, and make an impact for on, on all the patients that we've been able to treat um, over the years and, and it's a testament all to you so I, I would like to give you all a round of applause for um, contributing to, to all this it is a real honor and a privilege to be with you tonight. Um, for all of you that know Ushi, um, I think this night is as much about her as it is about Brian. Ushi isn't doing this just for Dr. Sunicki. Ushi's doing this for all of us. And I really hope, for those of you that know about healthcare, and you think about the one physician that solved polio, Dr. Salk, out of uh, University of Pittsburgh, I truly hope and pray that this country recognizes Brian Cernicki for the work that he's pioneered and what he's doing, not just for the women in this room, but for the women who are out there and the women who are going to come, for it is because of him and his efforts um, that we're going to eradicate breast cancer, prostate cancer, liver cancer, every other cancer out there, Brian. So Godspeed, thank you.